Hello guys, my name is Blue Digit. Um, I was thinking about doing an intro and kind of like scripting this out, but um, I decided against it just because of the fact that I want to be genuine. I want to just, you know, get my thoughts onto this video. And, um, you know, if it's considered yapping, if it's considered uh, boring, then, you know, that's that's that. But I want to speak to at least my general audience and people that actually, you know, genuinely do care about what I have to say. So with that out of the way, um, I'm going to be talking about essentially catching up with you guys over the last three months and what my new vision is and what we're going to be doing with the channel overall. Um, I'm, I'm sure you guys know I've been doing Birdcage. A lot of my time has actually been spent on my Twitch where um, we've had massive growth. It's been doing really good. Um, I decided to do basically, you know, Twitch and YouTube full time. And um, on the Twitch, we did pretty okay. We grew a lot. We had a lot of streams where we went over like, I think the peak we got to was like 800 viewers at one time. Like, we've done very, very, very well. And um, I was very happy about that. But the thing was, we were solely more or less focusing on Birdcage. Now, obviously, you guys already know what that is. The game as a whole, more or less, um, I'm leaving now because uh, I believe that first off, this, the direction of the game itself, I don't think is there. Um, instead of Birdcage being its own thing now, I think it's just leaning only into basically another AOT game, which um, just not my thing. Um, I also think there's like heavy bias overall as to like who's going to get lore. Um, I don't think most people just don't get lore. You're not going to. You're most time just going to play the game that's about it. Um, unless you start intertwining with people or you get lucky. Um, and two, I also don't believe in the community. I think the community is very toxic and I don't believe in the way that uh, moderation handles things, especially people at the top because I think that they're the ones fueling this toxicity within the community. Now, within this time, I don't really regret a whole lot because, you know, I think I've done a lot. Um, I pushed myself to uh, do as much as I could because beforehand I was working, I wasn't able to give my all towards Birdcage, but now I was. And I do believe overall with lore being able to uh, get a good grip as to like what the game had to offer. I understood it pretty darn well now, and I understand exactly what the player base is, exactly, you know, how things kind of get interwoven, and um, I very much enjoyed that. Now, um, that being said, though, there's obviously a lot of um, things I disagreed with, and um, I'm not going to go to everything right here, but the uh, number one thing, which I'm sure you guys already know of, is that um, one of the biggest things that I was involved with drama was, was the Nathan Maddock incident, right? Um, he was someone that started a lot of witch hunting, a lot of other things that he's done that got him banned, right? Um, now... With that being the case, me and my friends literally joke that in under two weeks, he'd be unbanned just because there's bias and that he's, you know, in the friend group with uh, Zar. And what would you know? Um, he was. Now, the thing was, I wanted to try my best to fix the community, but it's one of those things where the more I was looking at it, it's a closed community. And already with that, if there's people that went against these ideas or they spoke up about it, a lot of times they'd be silenced or frankly, they'd be personally attacked. After I actually did a live stream discussing the whole Nathan Maddock incident, um, which by the way, as I was speaking about it, Nathan did his own stream without even listening to me just to make his own point. And Zara went on the stream instead of actually sitting and listening to my points. All right. Um, after that, literally in another PD, Swayze was just DM to kill himself over again. There's some really wild stuff. I'll even post some screenshots here about everything. So, you know, this is a community wide issue of toxicity that I'm just completely against. And, uh, I'm also against the way that moderation handles it because to me, this stuff should be handled immediately no questions asked this stuff is wrong right but no it's one of those things where oh you should have said something about it you should have said that um telling someone to kill themselves uh unironically is wrong like there, there's some stuff like that i find to be very appalling and the fact that people think this way is um pretty sick especially when you know again there's minors involved right so um my decision the moment that happened was i'm not going to keep playing this game i'm done um and I've quit multiple times before, but at least this time, I really do believe I gave it my all. And I really did, I do think, make a difference in the community. And I taste it as much as I could without actually, you know, kind of bending the knee. Because I don't want to be someone that, you know, is like everyone else that does get lore and get, does get these opportunities where essentially you're sucking someone's ass, right? Um, that's not what I want to be. I want to be someone that's sincere about all this. So I made a huge announcement onto my big, um, my own personal server, right? And uh, basically saying, I'm done, you know, playing the game. I'm done supporting it. I'm moving on. And one of the first things that happens is uh, somehow people from the Birdcage community start raiding the server. Literally on Discord itself, there was a thing that said you were being raided, right? Uh, there was unusual activity. That's what it was. And multiple people on my own server were wondering what's going on. And these people that joined the server, even though, you know, I said I was leaving. I'm literally dis disassociating myself from Birdcage. These people from Birdcage came to attack me, right? And multiple times within my own server... They were saying the N-word, causing a disruptance, slurs, and were sending pornographic imagery within my general chat. Not only that, but then when we went to a VC, 
multiple people were saying the n-word again using a voice bot now if that doesn't say everything i need to know i don't know what what does because i find it really funny when you have all these people that beforehand i said hey i don't like hearing the n-word and they're like oh me neither and then the moment that they think they can get scot free with everything they come into my server and that's what exactly they do they just attack you and i find that to be funny and i find that to speak a lot about them and their character and the funny thing is i know that they're not going to none of them are going to get banned and even if they do it's just because i made the videos not because you know someone actually won't do anything about it to me i do believe that birdcage all that i believe birdcage czar most of the community really cares about right now really is self-reputation and not actually frankly doing what's right there's some people i spoke about when you know things are happening like this uh for example when um there was people on my stream right uh when i was talking about the whole nathan maddock incident i was talking about the rape claims and uh people just laughing about it making a joke and I'm like people should speak out against that because that's sick that's wrong it's discussing the most obvious manners right and i've had two people basically more or less uh sometimes you gotta get tougher skin and just deal with it some people just don't want to get involved because they don't want to get in trouble and to me that whole mindset is exactly the problem to me as a whole if you look throughout history you can see multiple times where if there is something that someone's doing wrong you don't speak out against it eventually that turns around and eventually it affects you too and then everyone wonders how did this happen how did this happen instead of actually calling it out and saying this is deliberately wrong people don't do anything and more or less silently condoning that behavior but here's the thing this whole time i've been trying to help the birdcage community this whole time i've been trying to like change the way that birdcage is viewed and the way that honestly the game is in general and what i've come to the conclusion the conclusion of is why am i even thinking this way at the end of the day it's not my community and sure even though i did care about it i cared about a lot of the people there i cared about the people that came from nothing the people that came in there naturally that's what i cared about because they're the ones that actually were producing a game that meant something something actually worth rising above those are the ones i really did care about and beforehand you know i had a lot of respect for czar and now that respect has come down very 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 low i've wanted to make a difference and it was honestly naive of me to believe that you know i could change something that wasn't even mine especially with the community where honestly the ones that are active in the community now half of them don't like me and the ones that did like me or even do agree with me already left because well it's a toxic community i shouldn't see a comment saying that they're scared to speak out when people are calling them slurs i shouldn't ever get that in my comments and the fact that i do get that is wrong and, and the thing is i shouldn't even have to say this i shouldn't have to say this it's it, it's almost a joke that i do but people are right i think i should move on the problem with the way that they're saying things though is they say move on as if they have to accept the reality or everything and i don't i think this is all completely sick and wrong you don't speak to another human being like this you don't treat others like this and think oh well just just walk it off walk it off why is it so wrong to treat other people like human beings actually build them up People say it's fucking glazing or you're yapping when you're saying, hey, this person's great. I really want to show them off. What is wrong with that? There shouldn't be anything wrong with that. But frankly, that's why you're all the time with the Birdcage community. I mean, quite, quite honestly, Birdcage really is just an echo chamber at this point. And I'm not going to lie. Things got worse around the moment, as I said it would, uh, with that hashtag purge to purge video. This stuff happens in Discord communities all the time, which is true. That doesn't mean I'm going to condone it, nor does that mean I'm going to just let this happen. If you guys want to do that with your own community, that's fine. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I have to realize I don't have control over this. But over what I do have control over, which is my own community, my own future, I want to prove that you don't have to allow this stuff to happen. And that means you're strong. If anything, I think it speaks a lot more that when you do see the stuff, and despite no one else doing anything else, you stand up and you say, that's wrong, and you deal with it. That's a strong person. When no one else says anything and you still stand there and you do something about it, that is a strong person. And you don't always see that. You don't always see people speaking about that. But that's the difference. That's the divide that changes everything. And I want to prove that. I want to bring a more positive, non-toxic light to everything in, honestly, the Rollbox community. Overall, that's what I've wanted to do. And I haven't been doing that. I'm going to be open here. Um... You know, I've ha I've been having a lot of bad anxiety. Um, a lot of nights I've been actually just straight up having panic attacks. Um, you'll see me ending stream earlier. You'll see me not in uh, PCs that often. You'll see me, you know, making videos as much just because I've had these um, episodes. And, um, you know, it, it very much stresses me out um, because, you know, it makes it kind of come off as a pussy, right? Um, but 
it, it's gotten to the point where, you know, you still have to look at the reality of everything. And the reality is, you know, if you look at many videos I've done, that is not the creation of someone that wants to do great. That's not the someone that wants to surpass their own limits and go towards making their giant accomplishments. Sure, I'm proud of the fact that I've been able to make thousands of views off things, but that's not my goal. And the fact that I've been trying so hard to focus on Birdcage, something that has at least actively less than a thousand people active, and maybe, you know, I would say a few thousand people still interacting with it, you know, knowing about it, it's, it's not something I want to associate with as big as my goals and dreams are. I want something beyond that, and I expect something beyond that. And just to fit in, I'm not going to keep almost degrading myself to the point so that I can fit in with people that I think this shit is acceptable. Because it's not. I'm a man of God. And at the beginning of my whole goal career thing here, um, trying to do this whole three month goal, uh, the first few weeks of the first month, January, I was doing really well because frankly, I was reading my Bible and every single time I did, it gave me more courage and insight as to keep going forward. And around February, you know, more things happen, more drama, and I just, I kind of let go. And I wasn't doing as much for myself religiously. And that's when things started, you know, getting a little bit more depressed. Um, it started getting harder. Um, but it was around the Nathan Maddock thing where I started praying again, right? I started actually reading my Bible harsh. And one of the number one things that I, I looked over was um, anxiety. And, you know, obviously it depends if you're religious or not. This is going to be a strong take. So um, just know that. But um, if you do not have, you know, someone you can believe in, you know, if you don't believe in God, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, um, when it comes to anxiety, the truth of the matter is, since there is nothing, we're all just, you know, atoms and molecules. It just, all that stress comes onto you. You have to be the one that deals with it. And when you have to deal with the stress of the world, it doesn't take someone with a college degree to realize that, you know, that's a lot of, that's a lot of weight on your shoulders. So what I did um, was I decided that I'm going to, you know, give off that weight. I'm going to essentially just do the best that I can. Do what I believe in. I'm going to leave the rest to Jesus Christ. I'm going to leave the rest to God. And that's what I've done. Um, I haven't been the best myself. I'm, I know this. But the one thing I do know is that the moment that I opened up this book, the moment that I've been working on this, the moment that I took up my cross, I've realized a lot more. And the number one thing that I know now, the number one thing that I know I want to go forward with, even though this might just be a Roblox game, even though this might just be something funny to you, I really do think that this is a community of real people that you got to love and cherish and you got to take care of. And what I've been seeing online where, you know, there's over-sexualization on Roblox, where, there, you know, there's people just saying the N-word in front of kids, where there's just all this really disturbing things that I think people shouldn't be always exposed to, I want to go over that. I want to show that you don't have to be toxic in these environments for things to turn out okay for you. I don't. I want to show that even when you're alone and you fight against this stuff, there is a reason for it. There is a purpose. I'm a man of God. Love is something that you can't just... If I open up a body, I'm not going to find love. If I look under a microscope, I'm not going to find eventually love. There's no weight. There's no nothing of it. I can't visualize it. But it's there. I know I have a conscience to see it. And it's the same thing with morality. Again, I'm a man of God. I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to see bad in order to know the good. A good example of this is that if someone steals from me, that shouldn't be immediately what teaches me, oh, stealing is wrong. I should know instinctively, from my belief, that stealing is wrong. I should know instinctively that if someone, you know, goes up and stabs someone, hey, that's not good. I shouldn't know that just because, okay, I can learn about stabbings. I should know instinctively, through my morality, that that's wrong. And that's the same thing with how you should treat people, how you should love people, how you should go forward with your life. I believe that genuinely. And the fact that this is the way that this has been handled is wrong. I think overall, people need to treat each other better as human beings. Because after all, we are all made in the image of God. And I truly believe that. I don't like being this way, but I do think the birdcage community is racist now. After I've, you know, multiple times said I don't like hearing the N-word, and then the moment I'm gone, thinking that they can get away with it, they just start spamming the N-word. I do. I really do believe that a lot of the birdcage community now is just racist. And it's, it's condoned that behavior. And I'm not going to stand by that. And I'm going to say this now just so that I can put this on the table, because 
I, I, I shouldn't have to, but I'm going to. Doesn't matter how you're built. Doesn't matter how smart you are. Doesn't matter where you came from, your parents, your intellectual morality. Like, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we're all made in the image of God, of Christ. And that's enough for me to know that I need to treat you as another human being that has value, no matter what you do. I need to treat you that way, with love and care. And the fact that I don't see that in this community, the fact that, oh, well, you know, obviously you just need to grow some thicker skin. No, I think growing some thicker skin is knowing that I need to treat someone like a goddamn human being. I think that that's what that really tells me. I think that's what everyone else needs to stand up and do too. Now, I know that, you know, it's just a game. I get it. But here's what I'll say. Um, I do not openly condone or support that community anymore. Um, I've been wanting to upload the rest of my Birdcage series. Um, I've been debating it. Let me know down in the comments below if I should even do that. Because, I mean, I've been wanting to. But it's also like, you know, if I do that, that's just going to keep spreading people to go to that game. And I... Even though I love that game, it's gotten to the point where it's it's a former shell of to me what it was, and I do not support the community. And the fact that people can get away with so much and it's not just immediately denounced or dealt with, I think is wrong. And I don't think people should feel worried or fearful about what this community has become. But as for me, um, when I started these uh, first three months, I did okay. And even now I'm doing okay. But I expect more of myself. And you guys should expect more of me, out of me too. When I started doing this birdcage stuff, um, the Twitch did very well. Twitch actually did better than usual by far. But when you look at my YouTube, I took a massive hit. The YouTube did a lot worse. Like if you look at my older videos, I was getting thousands upon thousands of views. And then when I'm doing this birdcage stuff, I mean, over time it grew. But I mean, it was doing pretty rough. I mean, like I was barely getting 800, you know, maybe a few thousand. So the birdcage community was a deficit for me. But it's because I truly did believe that I could change something. I truly, I truly did believe that I had something I could care for. Something I could do to help the community. I don't know if I was right or wrong on that. All I can say is that I am blessed to have met the good people that I have. And um, for the time that I did play the game, um, there are moments that I will never forget. I'm so blessed that I actually interacted with that. But going forward, I know that I'm not doing enough. And I want to show that I can make a community that will fight against this toxicity and if anything will motivate each other to their utmost potential. That is what I want. And sure, it's just, it's just Roblox. But if that's the stage I have to start off of to get to my utmost message, then so be it. If you guys think it's funny, then so be it. But to me, that's really what I believe in. And I really do think that I can reach out to people that way. And that's the way that I, you know, I can teach some of the meanings of Christ. And that's what I'm going to do. Because that is what I believe in and that was what I'm going to go forward with. Because I do believe there's other people that have that same mindset. And if to share that mindset, I have to do it through this medium. So be it. Now, doing this obviously is going to hurt my Twitch. But it's like, dude, if I really want to do well, if I really just wanted to fend at the Birdcage community and like it was all about, you know, success, views and whatnot, I'd be sucking everyone's ass. And I'm not. And you guys can clearly see that throughout the whole history of me playing this game. I have not been doing that whatsoever. I've been speaking my mind about what I truly believe because it's what I believe. And I know that sometimes, you know, even if I have to, you know, stand here and say this alone, then so be it. Because I know that there's some people that I truly do believe that need a voice like this. And it's not just my voice anymore. I think I'm speaking for them as well. So, um, you know, if this is the stuff that, you know, that community supports, then so be it. And let me mind you, when I did leave and there were still people like raiding my server, mo a lot of them were essentially a part of, you know, that top tier. People that are in charge of the game. Those are the people that are going to be leading you in that game. The ones that are going to be in charge determining your fate. Because they're going to be going over their morality. And that's... That's something you guys will have to deal with. My opinion, I would say that no one should be joining that game right now. Especially minors. Especially. And I mean that. Um, until the game gets its shit fixed up, I, I really mean that. So. Um, but as for myself, um, I have not been enough with you guys. I haven't. Uh, sure, I've been posting videos, and sure, we've been doing good, but it's like, I, you guys deserve better. When I say I want to make a change, it shouldn't just be like, oh, here's a little, like, scraps for you guys. It should mean something. This channel is about a year old now, and um, you guys deserve more. And I want this to be something that can actually prove what I say to be the truth. Here's my promise to you guys. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to give them everything I've got towards this YouTube thing. I'm going to try my best to stream more. I'm not going to stream every day. But if you guys could, please join the Discord. 
join the Twitch, and we're going to grow as much as we can. And I want to prove a point that in these communities, even though it is just this, positivity should be the number one thing you guys should be pushing. And it doesn't take a whole lot. It doesn't take a rich man to love someone. I truly do believe that. We're going to push. We're going to grow. We're going to keep going on these adventures. And we're going to reach a point to where, you know, hopefully we can reach 100,000 subs. And when I am in this position of power, I can remember this day where, you know, I, I did leave for kids of my own accord. And looking at them where they did have power and they didn't do everything about everything, I can look back and be like, you know what? Even though I do have power now, I'm not going to succumb to things that be allowed to go past by. I'm not. I expect that the same thing out of you guys. Plus, without me, pedophiles have gone to the community. You know, I want to be able to do all these crazy things. I want to be able to grow the community. I want to be able to actually, you know, bodybuilding it bigger so that I'm not just spouting, you know, a bunch of smoke up you guys so that I can actually show, like, okay, you can actually improve yourselves in every which way if you truly believe it. It's not just, you know, sometimes you make it, sometimes you don't. Like, there should be this point where motivation, success, uplifting others is the number one priority for everyone. And it should be. Um, if you guys are disappointed about me not doing birdcage as much if, at all, um, I'm sorry, maybe this channel isn't for you. Um, but if that doesn't bother you and you're still okay with the fact that, um, you know, this is just one part of the journey, then welcome aboard and uh, let's keep going, guys. And even though I say a whole lot, and I do want you guys to believe me. Don't just watch what I say. Watch what I do. After all, actions do speak louder than words. To end this, I will say a Bible quote. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I know this is just me. I know a lot of people won't be seeing this. But again, this is for people that, you know, genuinely are a part of the community and um, want to hear about me and hear about this whole about what's going to happen next as always smile keep your head up and let's fight for a future so bright so much for eyes my name is buddy sign out i'll see you guys next video bye guys Whoop.